many people think that performance validity testing, uh, and also in some cases, symptom validity testing, are really only necessary in a forensic setting. It turns out that that's not the case. The data tell us that children and adolescents will give suboptimal effort in many different circumstances. And making a diagnosis, making a classification for special education services, evaluating children to see if they're eligible for certain monetary benefits through things like social security programs, special services, accommodations for college admissions testing, all of these things are important and they are life-changing events potentially for many of these people. And we want to get it right. It's just as important and in some cases perhaps even more important than it is in a forensic setting to be able to document with objective evidence whether or not we obtained adequate effort to support the interpretations that we give to our cognitive measures. So in all cases, if it's important enough to do the evaluation, it's important enough to be sure we got it right, that we got to the right interpretations of the data, and to have the objective evidence to back that up.